going on guys? It is Murder Inc. here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and today, yes, you read the thumbnail right, we are making Raid Shadow Legends history once again. We are getting a free legendary. Can't say no strings attached, we all know the company, but we are getting a free legendary. And for those of you who don't know, it is going to be due to a partnership between the, I mean, extremely famous Twitch streamer, personality, content creator, Ninja. Tyler Blevins Ninja. So he has a partner with the game. They made a character for him. The character's name, unless it changes, is going to be called Ninja itself. And there's a really cool event going on now. For those of you who don't know, if you haven't heard already, you can use a promo code Ninja, N I N J A. With that new promo code section, you're going to get some free stuff. I'm not sure if you can use it over and over again. I haven't personally tried it myself, I just heard this through the grapevine, but I'm going to go over his skills today, kind of a very, very brief summary of all of this information, because I think quite a few people have heard about it by now, because it's been promoted through many top websites already, so let's go ahead, go over kind of the promotion bit, then we'll get into the skills and we'll see how we're feeling about this champion, and more importantly, what the catch is going to be with this I don't want to do it, but I'm going to free legendary. So let's get right into it. All right. So the first source we're going to be using is going to be the website PC Gamer, where this article did come out. It is called Ninja is becoming a playable character in the free to play, by the way, RPG Raid Shadow Legends. The upcoming character will be free for everyone with one catch. Let's go over that catch. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure if these are exact game images. They could be, they might not be. We're gonna have to see when we're closer to the moment here, but this is a pretty reputable website, so I have no reason not to believe them. Once again, here are some images. It looks like he just has one wing, maybe some of his skills that we're gonna go over a little bit later into the video will activate the second wing, or he's just gonna be a one wing champion. A little bit weird in my opinion, but hey, he got to design the champion. He got to make it how he wanted it, so. Who am I to judge? But the really main thing we want to talk about here is Ninja's character will be free for all players, but for only three months. After that, it will no longer be available, although anyone who claims Ninja will keep him forever. Now, what does this mean? To get yours, you'll need to log into the game for seven days. Over the three month period, any seven days, they don't have to be consecutive. Beginning on July 16th, it's currently July 13th, so we do have three days until that does happen. I feel like we're not getting on the information. I would be happily surprised if there was no payment behind this. However, I don't think that's going to be the case. Like I said, I could be wrong. This could be completely free or it can be based behind, I know it does say just lock in here, but this is not from Raid Shadow Legends or Plarium. This is from PC Gamer. They might not have all the information and this might just be not propaganda, but a way of boosting it, marketing it to make it sound good. Maybe there are some purchases or some events tied behind getting the credit for logging in for those days. I don't know. I'm simply speculating here, kind of like I think this website is as well. So overall, we're going to get to test out a champion, which is pretty cool in my opinion. I haven't done anything like this outside of myself as a content creator who can go on a test server. So this is going to be pretty cool here. I am excited to take a look at this new champion here. There is another website we have here, GameSpot.com. Can't say I've heard of them, but I looked into it a little bit. They do look pretty legit here. Now there's this whole video I'm not going to watch. Yes, it's only two minutes, but I don't know. Are we going to watch this? I'm not going to watch it with volume, but we're going to go over it. This is what the character kind of looks like. This is the behind the scenes. Are you excited with the character? They ask him a bunch of questions. If you want to look at it, you can go to the website. I'll put a link in the description. What do you think about the character, the hair? Yeah, I don't really care about this stuff here. There were a few cool scenes like this. Not sure what this is for. Maybe it's for him promoting on some type of commercial for the game, which can definitely be cool here. He does do a lot of like role play acting. There was some concept art there and there is a really cool scene right here i like this one a lot giving him some effects probably showing it what it's like when maybe the character dies in battle or like i said maybe it's for some commercial they're going to add put into youtube videos so this is pretty cool to kind of watch the process what he talks about in my opinion like i said doesn't really matter to me i know who he is 
I definitely respect him. He's worth a lot of money. I think it's like $15 million is his net worth. So he's definitely a very large influencer, going to bring a lot of new players to the game. Um, actually, this is a pretty cool shot here. He's kind of joking around in front of a green screen. Just being himself it's always nice to see someone that's kind of authentic like that so this is what we have going on here ninja will discuss his character for raid shadow legends as part of a live stream on july 19th so people can tune in here and talk about the character's unique abilities influence of its design so on and so forth so that's definitely when it's going to be even though it arrives july 16th in the game and it's probably going to be finalized by then. He's going to open it up to his community, people who have probably never heard of. I mean, who hasn't heard of Raid Shadow Legends, to be honest with you, but most people who probably haven't heard of it or haven't considered playing it, they probably will not because he is promoting it. Now what I want to do is I want to go over the kind of main part of this video, going over his skills as I've had them uh, two and a half weeks now, I think. I didn't think we were supposed to share this, but it seems like over the past couple days, people saw these posts and they started just revealing all the information they had on this, whether they had been not talking about it. And then content creators are wondering why William doesn't share things with us, probably because as soon as anyone gets a whiff of any information, they don't ask anyone. They just start making a video on it, trying to get clicks, so on and so forth. But since the info is out there, I might as well share it with you guys. So. You already know champion name should be ninja if it stays the same as it was a few weeks ago seven day login reward doesn't have to be consecutive as we did read from the website shadowkin faction of course him being ninja name being ninja legendary magic attack champion why do they keep releasing magic attack champions do we not have enough to be fair shadowkin faction doesn't have too many magic champions but as far as the overall game we definitely have a lot there so his base attack is 1509 unless it changes base speed 100 his a1 is a single target hit 60 percent chance of placing a 60 percent defense down for two turns fills his turn meter by 50 percent if the target is a boss, so a lot of cool synergy already with a boss, and his multiplier is 3.7 attack. We have an A2 providing three hits on random enemies. I've already shared my feelings on this. Don't really like random enemies. 75% chance up to 100% chance when booked to place HP burn for three turns on each. Activates HP burn on bosses. Now, to anyone thinking they're gonna use this in Spider, remember, three hits on a random target. Even if you click on the main spider and use this ability, it can still not land there and the chances are not in favor of this ability because there are so many spiderlings. So just keep that in mind. The second half of this skill, perfect veil for two turns on himself. The attack multiplier is two on this and it's a three turn cooldown when booked is a3 if the target is a boss it attacks one time ignoring 50 percent of the defense decreasing the cooldown of the a2 by two turns the attack multiplier is three on this if the target isn't a boss so any kind of arena content or dungeon waves attacks all enemy with a 75 percent chance up to 100 percent chance to freeze all of the targets with a 3.95 attack multiplier so definitely respectable and rather high the cooldown once booked is going to be four turns on that we do have an a4 which is a passive and it's going to be a new mechanic put into the game definitely give them credit for giving an influencer something new to the game so it's not just another random champion and apparently it's going to be called combo that can increase his attack by 10 percent or 20 percent on bosses up to 100 percent and crit damage by five percent 10% on bosses up to 25%. Now, I don't have any info on this new passive if it does stay in the game. Maybe it has to do with, we have seen synergy between bosses and how it does different things based on them hitting bosses and them hitting non-bosses. So maybe the combo is going to be if you hit a boss type enemy multiple times, that's where you get this bonus of increased attack percent and increased crit damage percent. And the same thing would apply to non-bosses if you do have the combo of arena or clearing waves. Hopefully it stacks from wave to wave. That would definitely make it a lot stronger. I don't think too many things work that way, so I'm not going to get my hopes too high for it to work that way. However, this is a new mechanic in the game, so we don't really know what's going to happen when it is released. But from what I've taken from this, if it is a non-boss enemy, the same thing would apply as long as it keeps hitting that type of target. All right, guys, so... 
that's what it is give me your thoughts what do you think about this new champion how do you think the champion looks what do you guys think of ninja tyler blevins i've never watched him before personally i've heard of him i know who he is i know what kind of games he plays they're not really my style of game maybe you guys have so let me know leave me a comment what do you think about the skills what do you think about the look of the champion and what do you think about the influencer himself don't forget guys if you enjoyed this content like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next upload and i will see you all in the next youtube video